Congratulations, you've just purchased the most complete and flexible EFI fuel tank, the Phytech Hyperfuel High Fuel EFI Tank. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to assemble your complete fuel tank kit so you can get it ready to go in your car. Best part, you don't need to drill, cut, or use that old can that your vehicle has been lugging around. When opening your kit, you'll find a tank specific to your application, a set of straps, a fuel level sending unit, a fuel level float, a fuel pump hanger, an in-tank fuel pump with filter sock, a rollover valve, zip ties to secure the pump to the module, and a complete set of instructions. These are the tools you'll need for the installation. The first step to installing your fuel pump is to measure the depth of your fuel tank with a tape measure. Take your reading at the top of the fuel tank surface and write down the measurement. Your kit came with either a Phytech 340 or 440 pump to accommodate a wide range of vehicles. So choose whichever pump works best with your application. Next, firmly press your fuel pump into the sock and measure the height on a flat surface to the top of the pump and write down the number. Subtract the pump height from the total depth of the fuel tank and write down the number. Measure from the underside of the pump hanger down the hose to the number you just wrote down and mark the hose at that measurement. Use a sharp set of hose cutters and cut the hose at the mark. Use a heat gun to soften up the hose. Remove the protective cover from the pump and firmly press the pump into the heated hose until it's fully seated. We suggest using a hose clamp for extra security, but it's not required. Rotate the pump until the sock makes contact with the return line and mark the return line at that spot. Cut the return line at a 45 degree angle. Now you can tighten the hose clamp at the top of your fuel pump. Zip tie the fuel pump to the return tube and cut the excess off the zip ties. And don't forget to plug in the electrical connector on top of the fuel pump before installing it into your fuel tank. Make sure your filter sock is aligned with any recesses in your tank. Slide the rubber gasket onto the module and slide the assembled fuel pump module into your tank. Make sure the module is lined up with the holes and all the wiring is inside the tank and use the supplied Allen headed hardware to secure the module into your tank. Now let's move on to installing your fuel level sending unit. When using tanks with depths between 6 inches and 15 and a half inches, the lower bracket is not needed. You'll have to remove the rheostat assembly, remove the lower bracket, and reinstall the rheostat onto the upper bracket. Start by removing the two screws securing the rheostat onto the lower bracket. Keep these screws for later installation. Remove the other two screws that hold the two brackets together. Slide the lower bracket off and reinstall the rheostat housing onto the upper bracket. Reinstall the mounting screws, but do not tighten them down. Now, using the measurement we calculated earlier by measuring the depth of the fuel tank, divide that number by two. Add an eighth of an inch to accommodate the gasket. Then measure from the base of the fuel sending unit to the center line of the rheostat pivot. Now secure the rheostat mounting screws by tightening them down to the upper bracket. Now you have established your height. It may be necessary to trim some of the bracket from the bottom of the sending unit to sit flush on the tank without making contact in the bottom of the tank. When you're cutting off the excess bracket, be careful to use a smooth, clean hacksaw as not to damage the sending unit itself. Remove the temporary shaft in the rheostat assembly and install the new float arm assembly and lightly tighten the retaining screw for now. Using the adjuster screw, slide the shaft up and down until the float is approximately an eighth of an inch below the tank level. Once you have the correct height, make sure it sweeps through the up and down motion smoothly. Mark the excess rod to show where you need to cut. Install the rubber gasket and install the fuel level sending unit into your tank. 
line up the holes in your gasket and the holes in the tank. Then, secure the sending unit to the tank with the hardware provided in the kit. Now your Phytech High Fuel in-tank fuel module and fuel level sending unit are fully installed and ready to be bolted up to your car. Make sure to match the fittings on the module to match the fuel lines in your car and you'll be ready to hit the road.